I came with my grandma here and the lady was giving the tour. And we went through this tunnel made of passion fruit. Well, I planted here um, some corn and some sunflowers. Like getting ready to harvest it, I'm just thinking about it. Imagine how much corn it would have on that stalk. The USDA has designated parts of National City as a food desert. People have to travel for more than a mile to get access to fresh fruits and vegetables. And alternatively, there's an overabundance of fast and processed foods here. You can see these are the traditional beans. They're glazed, you know, because of all the lard. Yeah, health is a huge problem right here in our city, uh, in our community. We have one of the highest rates of obesity in the county, in the state. My doctor told me, you are in the first stage of a kidney disease. And if you keep on eating like that, it's pretty soon you're going to have a big hole and it's going to be kaput. My mom is diabetic. And if I think 20 years from now, I will be like my mom. That will be for sure something that will happen not only to me, to my husband and to my kids too. Meanwhile, we don't stop. We're still feeding those things to our kids. No, where's our mind? We are the mothers. We're poisoning our kids. It's amazing how people want to make changes. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how or where to start. Thank you for coming. Are you excited? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> As I approached the house, I seen all this group of women sitting under a canopy. In this long table, everybody had a manual. So I joined the group. This Cooking for Salute program is a seven week program where a group of ladies will learn how to transform the way they eat. I know how, how bad is the struggle. I want to prevent that. I want people to learn that they don't have to be diabetic. We want that benefit for ourselves, but we also want it for the community. Most of the ladies are Mexican. We're still learning how to continue cooking our traditional plates, but on the healthy way. I was so happy that she was making a healthy food because I was concerned about her health. When we are cooking, we are following recipes from our aunties or grandmas, and I'm used to taste this taste. But if I change it, I will change my grandma's recipe. So hello. Hola, right? Hola. This is a competition. We're going to see who makes the best looking patty, too. This gift is going to go all through National City because it's not just me. Each one of us has a, a role. I'm not going to do it alone. How do we work together within all these complexities and make that happen for our community. That's why we need to find out the time to cook for our family, to make those changes, to make the commitment, because you need to learn, you need to deal, you need to decide every day what to do and how to do it. So it's what our mission as a kitchenistas is to, to share what I have been learned with the people we love.